Hi guys, welcome back to The Simple Happy Life. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about my new setup moving forward. So if you saw my video back in January where I shared my 2020 planner lineup and my traveler's notebook, which is like my catch-all everyday notebook, um, you can see how I had this set up. And I'll briefly kind of walk you back through it to sh uh, share what I did. But I'm gonna be switching it up for April. I've already gone through some of the books and I knew it would take me about three months to get through them. And so now I'm about to switch them up and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing differently moving forward. So this was like my brain dump. And so any catch all things I need to write, notes from a phone call, uh, let's see, it was just packing, we went um, on the trip um, to the mountains with some friends. And so I kind of meal planned out what I wanted to bring because we were staying in a cab, I need to bring our food. So this wasn't like a weekly meal plan so this is just like brain dump type stuff this was my this is my monthly and although I haven't gone through the months I didn't really use the pages like I thought I would so I decided that I would switch this up and I'm gonna not continue planning in this book anymore it just didn't really work the way I thought it would and I had wanted to do like a monthly thing here and I think I only did it one time so, <laughs> um, I, I didn't, I, I was struggling with this to begin with. And so I decided that I'm just not going to go with this. This I got because, you know, the deco, art deco feel, uh, roaring twenties. And so I thought entering 2020, this was a really pretty pattern, but this was my weekly or daily. And I would just, let's see, private stuff. So I don't really want to share everything, but, um, let's see if I can't find the page where I would, Let's see. Set up my to do's over here and then like a daily tracker of things that I wanted to get done. And as you can see, I actually ended up being sick this week. So a lot of stuff did not happen. And then I would do my meal plan and I would write out the groceries and then my day. Sometimes I would write it out where I would put list it hourly and then write out my to do's. Or, you know, that lasted for two days in this week. And then this week, I just wrote out like stuff for the days and the weeks. And so I would just continue with that. And that's how I set up my weeks every week. Um, I pretty much had the same information, but it might, like my meal plan moved here, my grocery list, list moved here. And so that's how I did that for my dailies. And then my homeschool looked like this. I would have my focus. Um, for those of you who are new to me, I'm a homeschool mom. I have two boys. And so I like to kind of track what it is that we did. What these, this is kind of like my pre-planning where I write out what things I actually want to get done and focus on for that week. It's not everything, but what I want to focus on is getting done each day. And then what I want us to get to a couple times that week. And then our outings and activities and books and things like that in our schedule. So this is what my beginning of my week would look like. And then I would write kind of journal, like I don't really want to share, share um, what we did and some thoughts, like whether the day was hard, whether the boys, um, you know, really liked something or whatever. So that's just from my record. And we also use homeschool planet where I like flush out the curriculum and the resources and all that type of stuff that we use. But this is just my like catch all, and you know, so I'm not on my phone, on my computer checking our digital planner, but just right here, these are the things I wanna focus on getting done that week. And so that's my homeschool planner. And then this is my list. I had already completed, like, when I say my list, I mean like my, um, the only thing I actually even put in here is some books that I wanted to read. Um, but in my other planner before this one, I had written out like my daily rhythm, my cleaning checklist, my um, kids chores and all that type stuff. And I didn't want to rewrite it. So I just left that book. Now this, all these books are going to come out because I filled up my weeklies and I just don't want to continue using this monthly anymore. And I'm going to switch to adding these. Now Michael's right now is closed and I can't um, order these these online because yeah, I don't know why but right now the only thing I can get is things that you can order online and pick up curbside because you know of the coronavirus so 
I ordered them some plan books offline. This is what I had used before. And so I'm pulling back in some inserts that I had in my traveler's notebook that I missed, like my journal. I found that I wasn't journaling as much when it wasn't in my notebook. I found that I wasn't um, as consistent with some things that I uh, wanted to do with the Simple Happy Life when it wasn't in my planner, uh, trying to use a separate um, planner for things I needed to get done daily. So this is my new stack of plan books. And so um, I've also been doodling with my boys more and I just, I missed just art and being creative in that way. Not that I can draw at all, but it's still a fun type thing for me to do. So I'm gonna go back to having uh, a monthly a weekly, a weekly for our be call our homeschool B school brain dump, which I still I want to have, but I think I'm gonna move that to the middle. Then to focus on the simple happy life, my journal and my index, which is like my list of my cleaning chores, um, sizes for the boys, things I need to order as far as clothes or shoes for them, whatever they need for sports, that type of stuff, and then just a blank one for doodling. And so what I plan to do is kind of decorate the front of these and just have fun with that and then um, swap all these out. So that is what I'm going to do moving forward. And so I'm going to quickly peek, let you peek inside. So I did go ahead and transfer over the first three months of stuff. And as you can see for March, I didn't really decorate, but like everything is marked out. So I don't really know going in to April I wrote the days but what I'm gonna do with this and so I was thinking is maybe we do um you know I might I don't normally put family night on my calendar which is on Thursdays for us so maybe I'll write family night in and then we've decided to do like a date night a home date night my husband and I so maybe I'll write that in on Fridays and maybe write you know something specific that we might do so that's maybe how I'm moving monthlies right now because yeah for a good part of april and maybe even longer we won't be going anywhere or do anything like you know i don't think anybody will and so this will this is why i'll be using this also set up for april's dates for planning videos and um my content on instagram because i don't really plan my own content on instagram i just take a picture of what happened that day and share and I may continue doing that, but there are some things that I've wanted to share that I thought might be helpful to people. And so, but I forget to share them because, you know, it may not happen that day. So I want to be more intentional with that and put that here. And so that is what the monthlies will look like. And then I will have my weekly. And so here, I think I'm going to write down the things that I absolutely need to get done and not have a brain dump here because sometimes the brain dump can be overwhelming to have at the beginning of the week, go back over here. Like I had, let's see, here, where I write out all my to dos for the week, and then I'd have all this stuff over here. So in this book, I want to still do my um, kind of like habit tracker, my daily and my weekly tasks, and then probably my meal plan as well. And then over here, just write down like appointments and what actually needs to be done. Um, I have like a doctor's appointment coming up, and that's probably the only thing that will go as far as an appointment over here. And so uh, we'll have the same for our homeschool. I will write out the things that I would like for us to accomplish, our read alouds and things like that. And then just kind of jotting down what we actually did that day and maybe a note about how it went. The boys enjoyed it, if they you know, didn't enjoy it, that type of thing. So that will be in that book. This will be my brain dump book. It's empty now, it's just dot grid. And I really like dot grid paper, as you can see. And so that will be for, for that. And then in this one, I'm gonna have, just so I can write out my thoughts and kind of flush out planning videos and things like that, doing research for videos, um, content that I wanna share, I'll just put in here and it's just blank so I can just, just write it out, write it out. This will be, continue to be my journal. Um, I've written in the first part of it, but uh, I just missed having it here and I just felt like I wasn't journaling like I had wanted to. And so I've been journaling more now because I'm not planning as much or doing as much and there's just a lot of feelings and things 
um, around us being quarantined. So it's all been good for the most part. But you know, there are days where it's just like, whoo, wait a minute. Um, and then this was what I'll be using for doodling. And I have written in the front of it um, just like why I wanted to get back into drawing and uh, being creative in that way. And then this is like my lists. So like my household kind of type stuff. And that's all. So I'm going to actually take these books out uh, and switch them for these new ones. And then I'll get planning for the week. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to talk you through what I will be doing for, you know, switching these out going into the month of April. And these books should last me longer than three months, I would think, because I've broken things down and the months uh, will last me for the year. The weekly will last me at least till, I don't know, August maybe. And then, yeah, the rest of them should last me. So, all right, y'all, I will be back with another video soon. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, let me know, do you use a traveler's notebook? Do you, um, you know, use a planner at all? Or are you all digital? Just uh, let me know in the comments. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.